All right, here we're given a problem involving line integrals. Okay, so when you do a first course in calculus, you learn how to integrate over intervals on the x-axis, right? Well, actually, you can integrate over lines, say, in two-dimensional space. They don't have to be along the x-axis, or line segments. Now, some of the motivation for talking about these kind of problems is that they appear in when you're calculating the work done and moving an object along a curve, not necessarily a straight line, with some sort of variable force. So the, um, the ideas have nice applications in physics, engineering, science. Well, we're asked to compute this line integral along a special curve. Okay. Now, these points here are sort of your starting point and your finishing point in the xy plane. Okay. Now, it looks like these sort of derivative or uh, these differentials are kind of, you know, if you cover that up, you go, oh, it's got to be that plus whatever that is. No, no. It's, the, the way we write it is th this sort of integral is acting with both of these differentials. Okay. So. Let's just draw a quick quick curve. With these kind of problems, it's always good to uh, draw a curve. Okay. Now, x equals y squared. That's basically a parabola that's going to be on its side. Okay. And we want to go to the point one one. Let's say it's I don't know there, and the point four two. Okay, let's say it's there. It's a badly drawn parabola, but anyway, you get the idea. Okay. And the curve that we're interested in integrating over is this little segment here. Okay, and you want to go from this point to that point, so there's a direction involved. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, we know from, say, high school or first course in calculus that when we have an integral of a function of one variable, we know what to do with it, right? We know how to integrate. So our objective with this is to actually break it down to something that we know. How do we do that? Well, it's just a substitution for this particular case. Okay, so along this curve, you have a relationship between x and y. What I can do is use that to, to reduce this nasty looking integral down to something that we would recognize and be able to solve. That's the idea. Okay? So, along x equal y squared, we have, well, let's differentiate it. It's going to be dx dy equals 2y if I differentiate this with respect to x. Okay, well, if I split those differentials apart, you can actually write it in a sort of more useful way. You can write it like this. So we've got two things now. We've got this along this line, and we've got a relationship between the differentials. Go up here, let's make a substitution and get it in terms of one variable only. Okay, that's our, that's our aim. Because at the moment, there's two variables and two differentials in that integral. Okay, with this substitution method, we can break it down to something that we know. Okay, so let's, I don't know, let's, let's just call this curve C. So along C, we have x equals y squared, and we have the differential satisfying this. Okay, so let's substitute these relationships into star. All right. So let's call i the value of the integral, whatever it is. OK, I'm going to replace x with y squared, and I'm going to replace dx with 2x dy. So I'm going to get all of this in terms of y only. OK, what that means is I can ignore the first sort of coordinates of that limit of integration and just go with the y coordinates. Okay, that dx is going to be replaced by 2y dy. And that x is going to be replaced by y squared. Now I've got two to y's here, so let's just collect them out on the right hand side. Okay, so 
I, I'll take the common factor of dy out. What am I going to get left? I'm going to get left with 2y cubed plus 2y squared minus y squared. It's going to be plus y squared um, plus y. So now I've got an integral that I know how to solve. It's something that you would see at school or first course in calculus. All right? So I can just go through and solve it, and the number that we get is going to be our answer. Okay, so you would treat it like a normal integral. So y, you're going to get y to the power of 4 over 2 for that first term. So integrate with respect to y plus y to the power of 3 all over 3 plus uh, y squared on 2. Evaluated that y equals 2 and y equals 1. Okay, so if you plug in the first value, you're going to get something like uh, 16 on 2 plus 8 on 3 plus 4 on 2 minus 1 half plus a third plus a half. Okay, so this is going to be 8. You're going to get a negative uh, 1 from that. And if you simplify it, you'll get this. Okay. All right, so for that particular example, it looked a bit difficult, but all you're doing is you're integrating over a, a part of a curve in two-dimensional space. And the idea from a computational point of view is to break it down to something that you recognize and know. Okay, uh, integral involving functions of one variable.